Okay, everyone, one more pattern for this week. We're at pattern-collections.com, and you want to scroll down to Pattern Focus, where you will find the daily patterns listed all the way back from today, all the way back to the beginning of, of, of doing daily patterns, which is a year and a half. Oh, yeah, like a year and a half. Okay, so I'm going to do this next one, Whooping Loop. Ooh, that's pretty. This is another one by Nicole. Nicole, she does some awesome patterns. She thinks of way more patterns than I do. I, I'm not, I don't know. It's not that I don't, I don't try. It's not that I can't make a pattern. I don't do a lot of trying, but you never know. When I'm on vacation, that's usually when I do it. Whooping loop. We're going to start with a row of little squares. I suppose they don't have to be squares. They could be rectangles because in her sample, well, I guess they're squares. They're just different sizes. So squares is what we want to go for. Okay. But they don't have to be the same size. They can be different sizes. It's fine. And then from the top of top corner, top right corner of this square to the top left corner of this square, we're going to come up with a loop back down up with a loop and back down up with a loop and back down and then you do it the other way I would turn my tile but you're gonna loop going the other way so you're connecting the squares with loops and then you're gonna do an echo here or aura and then in here you're going to do an aura you're going to aura that shape inside there okay and that's it and so I want you to note something here in this one she her loops got close together so she went ahead and did uh, overlapping so for me, in order to make sure that these overlappings make sense, what I think I'm going to do is as I draw each loop, I'm going to do the loop and then I'm going to do the aura right away because if my aura is too big and my next loop gets too close, then that next aura needs to go behind, if that makes sense. But I really like this and I'm just going to do just like she did here and just kind of go diagonally across my tile so I have plenty of room and just enjoy myself with a whooping loop. Not to be c confused with whooping cough, which is a really terrible thing, which I think some people are getting. I don't know if they are or not, but they, the cough that's coming from this flu is lingering, let me tell you. Okay, I'm going to put myself a little pencil border. I may erase it at the end. But I just don't want to get too close to the edge. It's just one of my things I don't like to be at the edge of my tile. Okay. So I'm going to do a square. This pen feels like it's running out of ink. I'm going to do another square and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I like the way Nicole did on her sample and made them different sizes. I'm going to make one really big one. I'm going kind of down in a so it's not all exactly straight either. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put one more and I'm going to make it really crooked. Just to show that it doesn't have to go in a line.
and I know I'm skipping but that's just in case this loop ends up a different size I want to have that one in front like that see Can you even see? No. I've just done that right off of screen. Ugh, I hate when I do that. I am sorry. This is what happens when I change my place. I, I changed where I'm at. So if I got completely off base, I'm so sorry. can all be different sizes these ones might run into each other which is fine I want this one on top so I'm going to draw it first that's the one I want on top and this one in case it ends up being behind over here I want that one first what a fun little pattern though easy to draw Squares and loops. I can do squares and loops. Right? See how I wanted that behind? This one too. It's probably going to get behind two of them. Like that. See? That's the basic pattern. The only other thing we have to do now is to aura in here. So she suggests doing that part first and then the straights, which makes sense. This one's a weird shape. It's that, and that, and that. That's okay. It can be a weird shape. Okay, and then you can embellish however you feel led to embellish. I do like those flux in there because this is very flux like. that
These guys all want to be a little flux leaf in the middle here. That's what they want. And Something like that. I think that's all that really wants. I like Oops, that's that pen is too small. Grab my brush pen. I like having a dark in here. But instead of doing the squares dark. I'm going to do this weird shape dark. I want that dark and I think I want hmm I'm going to put that border in Then I want some more dark, but I don't want it like in there. I think I'm going to take my brush pen and I'm just going to go kind of or this like that.
decided it wants. It actually wants that filled in. That wasn't in my original plan, but my tile's talking to me. Again. It's almost like it wanted to be on a black tile. But it couldn't be on a black tile because it's on a tan tile. So it says, you know, you need to fill in more black. sure why it's making me do this. I think I would have been okay without this part being black, but it's telling me it wants to be darker. There we go. And then I need my white pencil. That's going to have some white highlight. Why I'm doing the highlight before I'm doing the shading, I'm not 100% sure. I don't usually do that. I mean it doesn't want to be shaded. No, it wants shading. It just wanted to be shaded last, which is very odd. I always shade first. I need to sharpen my pencil. Okay, Oops. more 
one more overlap a little bit of blending where's my little stump can probably hear the <clears throat> contractor working on taking out that bush. I forgot to look up what it was called. I'm going to do that. I'm going to Cypress bush. Let me see. Is it a cypress? Images for cypress. Yes, I was correct. That bush is a cypress. Yeah, I don't like it. Anyway, it's going. The big old ugly cypress is going. be having no rhyme or reason to my shading today. I'm jumping all over the place. Alright. Oops. I missed a spot that needs overlap shading. good with that oh look I'm out of battery I'm out of battery I'm at the end of my tile it must be a sign that I am done for the moment I will see you guys later you guys have a great day go out and do something nice for somebody today make the world a better place because you know heaven forbid that we should have a better world it would be so nice if people would just be nice to one another things would just oh the world would be so much better Okay, you guys have a great day. I will see you later. Bye-bye.